guest is the self-proclaimed queen of mean. She really does live up to her title. She's got a brand new autobiography. It's called Chocolate, Please. It's filled with all kinds of stories and jokes, bad enough to fill a bathroom wall. Please welcome friend to the show, Lisa Lampanelli. <laughs> about you that automatically makes me want to go into total girl mode. Yes. Not just with the dirty jokes, but <laughs> with, with like girl talk and stuff. Oh, sure. Don't you love her? Yeah. Aww. Lisa is one of the reasons that w this show is on TV because she was a guest during our six-week sneak peek during the summer, and we ran into each other at Logo Awards. Yes. We'll talk about everything, but first, congratulations are in order. I see the lovely Jimmy, your fiance, is here, and you guys are engaged. Yes, I got it. Yes. Yeah. Is it, isn't that funny? It, isn't it ironic? It is ironic to me that I have a book out called Chocolate, Please, and I'm engaged to a white guy. Yeah. <laughs> I have no idea. Well, y what is the difference between a black man and a white man? Well, let me tell you something. The black men like the big butt. Yes. <laughs> they need something to hide behind when the rent is due. <laughs> <laughs> You're messy. You're messy. Um, you did really well. Where did you meet him? Oh, this was so funny. Like in 2007, yeah. we met on the Jim Brewer show on satellite radio. And he was so in love with me, it only yeah. took him two years to call. <laughs> Isn't that great? But he kept your number. That's the thing. That's what I like and, about it. Yeah, and, and fortunately, obviously, you're not a person that changes your number a lot. Oh, no, no, no. And thank God. Yes. So, when are we getting married? Uh, next October 2nd. It'll be so cool. A month from, I mean, excuse me, one year from today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Are you, oh, I'm worried. Yeah, no, no. Okay, so, you know, Lisa is from Connecticut. Oh, my God. And are you having your wedding in Connecticut? Are you guys going to live in Connecticut? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. No, he's from Long Island. Okay. But okay. we're moving into Manhattan where I have an apartment. Nice. And let me tell you something. He is so Italian. It is so <laughs> great. How can you say no to a guy who says, who shaves, will you marry me into his back hair? <laughs> It's beautiful. <laughs> I was judging through your book. I love it. <laughs> Chocolate, please. Lisa's always had a thing for black men. And uh, do you mind that, uh, that, that she does this talk and this potty mouth and the black men and the men <laughs> jokes in general? This is actually Jimmy? the first I'm hearing of it. So. Uh, of course. Of course. It's to me. So. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So where did you go to school? I just remember um, when I spoke to you um, saying, God, you're a smart woman. Yeah. You're from Connecticut. Your mom, your dad. I mean, oh you got gosh. a whole you got a whole family unit. Nobody would know this about you. No, no, it's crazy. My mother actually is the reason I'm a comic because she's hilarious. My mother is so funny. She actually used to tell funny stories, and then she'd say, "We laughed so hard, <laughs> the tears rolled down our legs." <laughs> and I'm like, "Mom, you peed yourself. Cut it out." And she's peeing right now because she just turned eight. <laughs> 80. 80. Isn't that something? Fun. Uh -huh. Fun. Mm -hmm. So now, with your comedy, mm -hmm. you know, it takes you all over the world. I just want, uh, back to, I'm sorry, I'm all in you guys' that's lives. That's okay, Wendy, that's all right. <laughs> He's an <laughs> open book. That's Is why he, we're here. Does he have a regular um, job where he has to be here in New York, in Manhattan, at the apartment? No, 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 he has a job as my fluffer. <laughs> now, <laughs> he comes on the road with me and protects me. And you know what's great? It's a really nice. He's a protective guy. Yes. So anybody who screws with me wakes up in the back of his Lincoln Continental. Gotcha. <laughs> wow. Gotcha. <laughs> well, the, it, you know, the interesting thing is because I met you guys, you were on the red carpet at the Logo Awards. Yes. And then, I, then inside, you know, you did the big comedy monologue in there. Mm -hmm. And Jimmy was with you, mm -hmm. and I thought that he was your security. And I when know, you said, I this know. is my boyfriend, I was like, oh, a softer side of Lisa. I know. I am a mush on the inside. I really am. Yeah. And also, like, you met me on a night that was really good for us. Yeah. It was the Logo Awards, which you know is the gay channel. Yes. Because I love it. Oh, my God. There were more lists backstage than at a Rudy Giuliani concession speech. It was the New Now Next Award, and I actually had gotten an award for Next Big Thing, and yeah. Lisa did the jokes. That was an interesting crowd, wasn't it? It was. Oh, my God. You know what was great? I gave out the award for Next Big Comedian, and I thought it was really great that a midget was in the category. Yeah. Isn't that yes, fantastic? Yes, yes, the lady. Oh, she was so cute, <laughs> man. Oh, my God, so tiny. If she got Parkinson's, they could rent her out as a vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, you guys, if anybody 
Somebody else said this stuff would be so mean and crude, but it's Lampanelli. You gotta love it. You gotta. And you also have to understand, she means every bit of it. Oh, no, no, no. See, that's the thing. I only, I'm an insult comic. I only make fun of the people I love. And you do good comedy roasts. Oh, thank you. Oh, my God, I love the roast. I just roasted. I was a roast master for Larry the Cable Guy. Yes. And let me tell you something. I love him, but he is so fat and hairy, he could be a stunt double for... But you know, you know you love that joke. Now, the thing was, the funny thing is, one of my favorite people from my childhood was there who was Maureen McCormick. Marsha Brady? Yes, she played Marsha Brady. But Wendy, I don't have to tell you, this broad let herself go. Oh my God, who'd have thought 30 years later, Alice would be the hot one? <laughs> of Maureen in a magazine and they were saying basically Maureen I'm not being mean you know that they had it in there and they were saying the same thing and you were on Celebrity Fit Club and you were supposed to have lost the weight and gotten it together but Valerie Bertinelli's winning oh from the Valerie, old school she's the one who took my place as a Jenny Craig spokesmodel from I am so angry shouldn't I be on the Jenny Craig dad that's what I think well okay ah interesting listen we're gonna take a break <laughs> with Lisa Lampanelli, including the weight and more in the book after this message. <laughs>